American Standard, another one, and uh, and it's cold. It's probably about 33, 34 degrees right now. I tested. We had 20, had 24 coming out here, and uh, it looks like uh, pressure on our gauges. As you can see, we're dead. He's got a leak. He's got a whole lot of oil around here, as you can tell. So what I did was I ran my detector over it. And uh, he came up positive right down there. So we're going to quote him out here on this one here. And uh, But uh, also, uh, we're going to try and figure out what's going on. It's a heat pump. So it's supposed to be an auxiliary backup on the inside. Maybe thermostat's not working right. Maybe auxiliary's out. We don't know. We're going to check it check it as well now so uh, uh, I'm gonna break the uh, bad news to him I think he already had a company tell him he needed a new condenser but uh, uh, there's a language barrier here this is a Chinese restaurant so um, uh, we're uh, we're gonna get up there and uh, see uh, what's going on with the strips I'll get you some footage in all right guys okay guys <laughs> Oh man, you gotta love it. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna show it to you one time. Somebody tell me, what is that? And I think that's JB Weld. I think it's JB Weld, guys. Okay, so uh, we have found our leak, I believe. Uh, God, detector detected it. I just, uh, I just wanted to show that. That was just, this is the first time I've really, in my career, I've ever encountered JB Weld uh, with heating and air. So there you go. Um, JB Weld versus the uh, 250 PSI R22. Um, R22, uh, one. Okay, guys. All right, I don't think I got any numbers off this thing. Um, I just want to give them a couple of your numbers for you guys. I want to know what it is. We got a Heritage 10 here. There's a mod, there's a cereal. She's old, she's 94. So we're we're a month away from being 20, and uh, that's all she ran was 20, guys. Bless her heart. If I ran 20, I'd probably want to quit too. All right. As we are, if I get my camera to focus here. We are up in the ceiling. Here's our good old American standard here. There's our numbers on it. Got a four ton here. And uh What's going on right there? Look at that. So they got it blocked off on this side, and then on the other side over there, they got a 14 inch duct. Pretty sure it looks like it's 14. Ah, oh, forgive me, guys. Give me a minute. Let me get. Oh, uh, what's it say right there? Out of 14. You see, we go down there and we tie in on the box. So I got a 14 inch run. And look how long it is. Look how long that run is. Boy, I mean, I mean, that thing goes for, boy, it's got to be, oh, okay, 
Okay, so there's our box. Let me see if I can focus my light. I mean, it goes all the way to the front room. All the way to the front room down there. This is in back down here in the kitchen. And, uh, what do you think, guys? Just a quick question. You think a, uh, Take a four ton, take a 14 inch return. It's about 30 to 40 foot long on a four ton is good enough airflow. <laughs> and I've seen 14 inch returns on two and a half ton units. So uh, that just tells you something there. And we got it on a four ton here. Yeah. You see, they probably had a second return coming in right here is what they did. They had another return coming in right here. And somebody... Somebody disconnected it. So, uh, let me do that now. Let me get some pictures on my phone. That way I can show it to him about this and uh, this line right here just going to nothing as you can see just we ain't, we ain't got nothing this was the return that was hooked up I don't know why but we're unhooked now so um, we're going to do that and then we're going to take a panel off here and we're going to see uh, if our strips are coming on or not okay we got our panel off and uh, we've got our breakers back on and uh, contact you pulled in for our heat strips. So uh, we're just going to go through some voltage check and amperage checks here and make sure we got it. So uh, let's check those now. second one and we're gonna figure out why let's let it focus there it is so what we had was I uh, tested with my meter and everything up and uh, you see that little uh, little white ceramic with the screw on the bottom two wires on it, two terminals. That is a high temperature safety. Okay, we had three of them. One, two, three. As you can see, two have been removed because two were bad. This one's actually testing good and testing it with that continuity. on my meter here. No, I'm 
and uh, for continuity, you know, when you get a good reading, it'll beep on you. So we're just basically going across those two terminals, uh, and, and we're taking the wire, or at least one wire off one terminal, to uh, open the circuit up so that we know our reading, we're just reading across our two points uh, just to double check, make, you know, and, uh, and we're testing good on this one and two on the other bad one, so I remove them and here they are here. That's basically all it is, it's just a resistor type. Once, uh, once it gets so hot, it'll, it'll melt and open up on the inside. So I'll get two of those, get those back in. But I'm, I'm bet those don't go out for any, just any reason. I'm willing to bet you that that. Uh, let me get my flashlight. I'm betting that that return there. It's not because they kept that return off on one side. It's not ha it's not letting enough air flow through, and uh, because it's not letting enough air flow through, we're popping we're popping um, the high temperature overloads there that uh, train uh, has. This is American Standard, so it's made by Train. So um, you see these on uh, the older units and. Um, <clears throat> the bad thing about these were they were one-time use. They're not resettable. Um, I myself prefer the resettable over these. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. So we're going to get uh, two of these and uh, we're going to shoot them a quote on uh, at least getting this heat, uh, having some heat on for them. Um, and <clears throat> that way uh, he'll be able to heat and cool that front area where the customers are at. But um, I got a feeling we're gonna, uh, and uh, if we don't hook that duck back up, we're gonna have a problem, so. We're gonna get uh, quoted out and go with, he's probably gonna go with repairs, so we'll be back on this. And I'll get you some more footage of it running when we get it done, all right. All right, we're back up and going. We got our return hooked up, and uh, we got our new, our new cutouts in. One, two, three. We're measuring our amperage now on each line, and we're looking good, guys. So uh, let's see what it is on this next one. Very much room to grab. Yeah, we're good. Oh, yeah, we're good on all three. So, that'll give them some temporary heat in there. while well, they save up the money and figure out what they want to do on the condensing unit out there. So, uh, this is going to be it for this one, guys.